This is sort of ground zero for the recovery of Monterey Bay. Dodged that bullet, but there's another one coming, and that's climate change. That is already rumbling through here and changing the way this ecosystem functions. And, and we know that because the records show us what species were here and how abundant they were all along this kind of intertidal. So we've been trying to figure out a way of finding out what are the currents bringing into these shorelines. And we've stumbled on a pretty good way to measure that, and that's uh, these little barnacles. Now, nobody cares that much about, about barnacles, but these animals have larvae that live in the water and they're brought in by ocean currents. And so we've worked out a way to tell whether the larvae that land here and grow into barnacles, whether they come from here or whether they come from far to the south. So they land on these plates. Uh, every week we put out a new set of plates. Every week we pick them up, take them back to the lab and take the small little larvae off and genetically test them to find out where they're from. And if they have the signature of Southern California, the genetics of Southern California, we know those currents are moving things up. Uh, species that are common now were, were simply not here in, in the 1930s. They've come from the south. And that means that there's a change. And just as barnacle goes, so go the rest of the ocean creatures. They're being brought in too by the same currents.